the natural world which is around us is a beautiful place, particularly at certain times of year like this, late spring. In Celtic tradition, we understand that they saw the book of scripture and the book of creation as two equal ways of being able to encounter, engage and learn about and from God. Many of the Celtic saints commented on nature and its relationship with God, but perhaps none more specifically than John Scotus Ereugena. The feast day of John Scotus Ereugena is unknown, but he presented the universe and the natural world around us in a way that suggested that it was a theophany of God. He suggested that the natural world around us was a physical manifestation or representation of the divine essence, which in itself cannot be grasped by the intellect. But through the natural world around us, we can grasp a concept, a small concept of the unknowable, ineffable God. He said that through the things that are made, we can get to know the maker. And that when we hear or read that God makes all things, that we should understand that God is in all things. That in every aspect of creation, God dwells and exists. Like the Apostle Paul said, that we can take a look at the things that God has created and see God. Just take a moment to stop and look at any part of the natural world that you can see around you. Look out of your window if you have one, or any plants or flowers in your house. And if you have nothing around you, just look at the screen and the natural world which surrounds me here. In the meditation for John Scotus Ereugena in the book 40 Days with the Celtic Saints, it says that John Scotus Ereugena was a highly intelligent person who dwelt in the mystery of knowing the unknowable God. He saw all of creation as one great expression of God's being. He believed that people could encounter and see God within all of creation. So the question here is how do you view the natural world around you? Is it something that's just there or perhaps for you to use? Or do you see it as something more? If you see it as something more, something connected to God, does or should that change the way you act towards it and interact with it? What is the natural world to you? Is it an aspect of God himself, as John Scott or Sarah Eugenia suggests? And if it is, how should that change the way you respond and react to it?